welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay, if you guys are new here, that's who I am, and if you're not, welcome back. Okay, today we're doing sweet treat ears. This is just one, and we are using SVGs from our Mickey Ear Factory. These are the donut SVGs. They're so cute, and I just use felt for these. So today is a little different. I'm excited because most of my tutorials have fabric and foam and fluff, and these ones don't, but the a couple of them do. So let's get going. I'm gonna show you sweet treat ears. We use some puff paint. We use some of the elements. Oh, and if you're a member of antitay.com, you get all the SVGs that I've been using on all of the Mickey ears this summer. So check that out because we came out with an entire summer line of them and we'll be coming out with a fall line and a Christmas line, and this is a new thing that I won't ever stop doing because I'm obsessed. They're just so fun. So let's get going. Show you where to get your Mickey Ear Factory SVGs. You can shop them right under this tab right here by just hovering over it and clicking SVGs if you're not a member. But if you are a member, I'm going to take you into one of our member only pages right under Disney. All of these pages are member only and you can click Mickey Ear Factory. And in the Mickey Ear Factory, you can see that we are working on it as I'm filming this video, but we have a ton of characters that came out this June, and we will come out with them every season, new ones for you guys, which I'm so excited, because this is like my favorite thing ever to do, which is create Mickey Ears for you guys. So when you click on one of these, it's gonna download all the SVGs you need to create that character, which is so fun. And so you can find that right here, or again, you can purchase just the individual character if you are interested in that. We also have some fun things like shapes, and I'll be showing you how to use some of our shapes for individual characters as well, because you can really get creative with some of the shapes that we will offer as well. If you need the template, it's right here. And then on the side, we have links to my favorite places or tips and tricks on what to get. Like our Mickey Ear Factory is designed to work with just solid colors. And I love um, flannel because flannel is super easy to work with and iron on. And I also love felt and there's some other things. And so HTV and all the things that you'll need to create the best Mickey ears in the park or on your cruise or just to wear because who doesn't love just wearing Mickey ears. So that's where you will find all of the SVGs you need for any of our Mickey ear tutorials. Alrighty guys, let's make some felt ears. We are gonna use the donut blob. I have no better word for it than the donut blob frosting SVG from our Mickey Ear Factory. And I'm gonna use a little different technique. I'm gonna use the sewing technique instead of, well, we always sew them, but I'm going to use the, the half inch seam allowance template on this one. If you wanna know more about like the templates and how I usually make Mickey ears, check out my my uh, basic Mickey ear video because that is the jam to learn how to make your Mickey ears. So I'm just gonna sew it a half inch around by turning it right sides together and sewing around and then cutting it um, close to the seam but not super close to the seam. Felt is so fun to work with and so easy and honestly you could do this with um, a hand stitch if you wanted to as well. So if you don't know how to use a sewing machine, this might be a great alternative for you to make some Mickey ears and still feel pretty cool because you sewed your Mickey ears. Um, if you want no sew options, we also have those. So now I'm just gonna go in with puff paint and I totally realized in this video that I am not very puff painted skilled. It took me the first ear to be able to kind of master this stuff and it kind of triggered me because I remember being a kid and remembering trying to puff paint and it wasn't very easy. But look at this, I got this really cool shot. I used all the colors and I did a couple other ears with puff paint too, so you'll see those in the series. So that's the donut ears, love them, and I'll see you in the next video.